Hi and welcome to Simplifying Algebraic Fractions. Just before we start, just a reminder that there is a notes jotter available for this video. Just check the description below for a download link and you can work along with me as we go through the video. Okay, so um, we just want to start with a normal basic fraction. If I wanted to simplify a fraction, what would I do? Well, I would divide the numerator and the denominator by a common factor. We would find a common factor of the top and the bottom, and that's what we would divide by. Well, in terms of algebraic fractions, it's pretty much exactly the same. Um, we need to find the common factor by factorising either the numerator or the denominator or both of them. And once we've done that, if we find the common factor, well, that is what we're going to cancel out. So let's see how that goes. Okay, so three questions here, and in each case, we're going to try to simplify these fractions. So as we said, we need to try to, fi uh, to factorize either the denominator, the numerator, or both. Well, in the first case, 6a over 3a plus 12, we can't factorize the top of the, uh, top of the fraction, but we can factorize the bottom. So how would we factorize it? Well, 6a would remain exactly as it was, but on the bottom, well, the common factor of 3a and 12 is 3. So that would be 3a plus 4. Now, do we have a common factor that we can cancel out? Well, the fa uh, common factor here, we've got a 3 at the front. Does 3 go into the top? Well, it does. So I can divide the top and bottom by 3. And that means that I would have 2a over a plus 4. And we've simplified that fraction because now uh, we have smaller terms in all cases. In the second one, we have 8x over x squared take away 4x. Well, again, we're going to have to try and um, factorise the denominator this time. So what goes into x squared and into negative 4x? Well, the common factor there would be x and x would be multiplied by x to make x squared and negative 4 to make negative 4x. So do we have a common factor that we can cancel out? Well in this case we have an x which can cancel with an x leaving us with 8 over x take away 4. And in our third question we have 10y over 4y squared plus 6y. Do we have a common factor in the denominator well, in this case, 4 and 6 are both even, so we have a common factor of 2, but also we have y squared and y, which means that we have a common factor of y. So 2y brackets. Well, 2y would need to be multiplied by 2y in order to make 4y squared, and it would need to be multiplied by 3 to make plus 6y. Do we have a common factor here? Well, we definitely have a y in both cases, so we can cancel out the y, like that. And then we have 10 and 2. Well, the common factor there would be the 2, so I can cancel out the 2, and that would become 5. And so my fraction, when simplified, will be 5 over 2y plus 3. So the next, next set of examples, um, it was suggested that we may need to factorise the numerator or the denominator or both. Well, in this case, it looks like we may have to uh, factorise the top and bottom of our fractions. So let's do that. So in the first one, 6a take away 4 over 10a plus 12. Well, the common factor between 6a and negative 4 is 2. So I've got 2 brackets 3a take away 2. And on the bottom of my fraction, 10a plus 12. Well, what is the common factor between 10a and 12? Well, that will be 2 again. And it will be 5a plus 6. Is there a common factor between those two? Well, quite clearly, we have a 2 at the top and a 2 at the bottom. And so this can actually be just simplified to 3a take away 2 over 5a plus 6. In the next one, we have 3x plus 6 over x squared plus 2x. So again, let's look at factorising the top and the bottom. Well, in the top, the common factor between 3x and plus 6 is 3. So we've got 3 brackets x plus 2. 
And at the bottom, what is the common factor between x squared and 2x? Well, the common factor there is x. And what is in the bracket? Well, x times x would make x squared, and x times positive 2 would make 2x. Now, in this case, what you might notice is the bracket here and the bracket here are identical. And that means that is actually our common factor. We have a common factor of x plus 2. And so those two brackets will cancel out. And so this fraction will actually simplify to simply 3 over x. And in our last one, we have xy plus 4y and we have 3x plus 12. Well, again, what I want to do is just simple, uh, see if I can factorise the uh, top. So the common factor between xy and 4y is y. And so that will be x plus 4. And at the bottom, the common factor between 3x and positive 12. Well, that's going to be 3. Because 3 goes into 3x and into 12. And that's going to be x plus 4 in the bracket. And so once again, what we can see, we have same bracket top and bottom so they cancel out and so this one would simplify to simply y over 3 and okay so we end uh, with three more examples and it's exactly the same situation the only difference is that here we've got some quadratic expressions where we're going to need to factorize into two brackets um, and so we just need to uh, be careful of that as we're going through so in the first one, we've got 4x plus 12 over x squared plus 4x plus 3. And so the first thing I want to do is, just as we did before, I want to factorise the top. And in this case, the common factor would be 4. That's 4x plus 3. Underneath, we've got x squared plus 4x plus 3. So in this case, because it is a quadratic expression of the form of ax squared plus bx plus c, that tells me that I'm going to need two sets of brackets. And it also says that I need to think about a pair of numbers which will multiply to make positive 3, but add to make positive 4. And so in this case, what I've got is x plus 1 and x plus 3. Now, what we see again is that we have the same, uh, same bracket on the top and the bottom. We have x plus 3 in both cases, so they will cancel out. And so this fraction can actually be simplified to 4 over x plus 1. Let's do the same for the second question. Again, we now have two, um, two expressions in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c. Therefore, we're going to have two brackets on the top and two brackets on the bottom. And so x squared, uh, take away 2x, take away 8. So I need two numbers that are going to multiply to make negative 8. And two numbers which would add to make, positive, uh, take, to make negative 2. And so in this case, we're going to have x take away 4 and x plus 2. Negative 4 times positive 2 is negative 8, but negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2. At the bottom, I need two numbers which are going to multiply to make positive 4, but add to make negative 5. Because they are multiplying to make a positive, that means they both have the same sign. And in this case, they're both negative. I've got negative 1 and negative 4. Now, do we have a common factor which we can cancel out? Well, if we have a look here, we have x minus 4 in the first and x minus 4 in the uh, second, and therefore they actually just cancel out. This one would simplify to x plus 2 over x take away 1. And finally, we have x squared plus 7x plus 10. Now, in this case, again, that's going to be a pair of brackets. Um, and it's going to be two numbers which multiply to make positive 10 and add to make positive 7. Well, that's going to be x plus 2, x plus 5. But then on the bottom, I now have 2x squared. So this one is the situation where we need to think about how we're actually going to factorise, where we have a coefficient of x squared. So let's just take a little aside down here. That means I need to do 2 times 6 is 12. And I need to find two numbers that will uh, mul uh, add, uh, multiply to make positive 12, but add to make 7. Well, that is going to be positive 4 and positive 3. 
and so my equation uh, my expression becomes 2x squared plus 4x plus 3x plus 6 and then we split and we factorize the first piece well that's going to be 2x brackets x plus 2 and on the second piece well that's going to be plus 3 brackets x plus 2 and so when we factorize to put that into two brackets that is going to be 2x plus 3 brackets x plus 2 and so we can place that up above so in a bracket 2x plus 3 and x plus 2 and we're now back to our situation of finding a common factor is there a common factor between the numerator and the denominator well in both cases we see x plus 2 so we can cancel those out this fraction would actually simplify to x plus 5 over 2x plus 3 And so we end with our exam question and this came from the Edexcel paper in June 2018 and it was higher paper 1. And it asks us to simplify fully 3x squared take away 8x take away 3 all over 2x squared take away 6x. So the first thing I want to do here is deal with the uh, numerator. I want to factorise that and so um, first of all I need to do 3 times negative 3 and that is negative 9. So what I'm looking for here are a pair of numbers which are going to multiply to make negative 9 but they're going to add to make negative 8 and this one's actually quite uh, quite a nice one 1 and negative 9 would probably be our first choice and 1 plus negative 9 is negative 8 so we've actually got the values straight away so let's rewrite the expression 3x squared plus 1x take away 9x take away 3 let's split it and let's factorize each piece so in the first case that's going to be x brackets 3x plus 1 and on this side well we need to make sure that we have the same bracket so we want 3x plus 1 over here so that will be negative 3 at the front meaning that this bracket is actually x take away 3 brackets 3x plus 1 so I've factorized the numerator how would I factorize the denominator well in this case um, if I wanted to factorize the denominator there is a factor of 2 and there is a factor of x so that's 2x brackets x take away 3 and let's now see when we put them together whether we have a common factor so x take away 3 3x plus 1 all over 2x brackets x minus 3 do we have a common factor well we clearly have an x take away 3 on the top and the bottom and therefore if we want to simplify fully well that's going to be 3x plus 1 all over 2x and that is the final answer.